You took your time. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al mutabakil What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father. The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Barhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Khabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. A hungry belly has no ears. If it is sustenance you seek, you might check the board. Poet, politician, and concubine. I will soon know which one wears the mask.
قبل العشاء انجبت احدى What beautiful homes, far different from the slums of Anbar. Lend me your eyes. Let us hope she is home. You will not bar me from my guest. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the Postal Bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. <laughs> Better keep a low profile. The Postal Bureau. I will do as the Huyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies.
There must be mail here from every corner of the Khilafa. Now to find Aribs. Silence your song of sin, or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yearn of Korof. After the honey drips from her lips, Athaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be Athaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. I will go to the garden, give Athalab her letter, and follow where she goes. Rage as the ocean, I will sweeten your storms. Scorch as the desert, I will bathe in your heat. Be you ocean, desert. Cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. It seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come a reap. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayyida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Then... Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden and follow the mouse. 
Perhaps Harib is not lost to me yet. There, one of the Thahabin members. I should investigate. How far will the fox flee? Say, I've seen that place before. Yet another painted mouse. Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase. I like mine. You should bring him before the Mazalim court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by strict or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners. So many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And the poet needs patrons. Even one so great as Al-Talab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Arib herself, but an admirer. No decency these days! Do not even think about it. Keep walking. That was friendly. I will have to find another way in. Her influence wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabicha is a great woman, Farah. <sighs> she was. While Al Mutawakil lived, but her son did not succeed him. And her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira, and try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Looks like a good fit. Shame someone is already wearing it. 
Let us just move you out of the way. A eunuch's uniform freshly tailored. Perfect. How long is this going to take? Looks ready to me. Tight across the chest and gut. The guards will be ever vigilant. Hopefully, this will work. Tamahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira! Assalamu alaikum! You know him, Makira? Um, uh, I... What? You have forgotten me already! No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a Kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. 
the Ummu Walad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some, I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. I paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. I paint and magic potion. Seriously? So what is this magic potion? Ah, I see. Alcohol. Guys, no, focus, Basim. You need that key. Paint and potion acquired. Now to get that. Here you are. Oh, thank you. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions, but I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology. The body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strictly forbidden. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one. Sir?
that knock. Let me just say. Oh, here, ah. dog! Changing yourself yet? Yeah. Ah. Steady yourself, Bassett. Come on. The Garden and its Mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I guess that was the idea. Abu Abdullah's ambition has no bounds. Oh, Farah, we cannot still believe you will take the throne. Mother? There you are. Enjoy. Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. I think I have created a monster. The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. This portion, it... It gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. Put your foot down. Back where you belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to pry it from her hands. It is done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. A map of the Khilafa and Alamut. A signed book of Harib's poems. The ocean, the desert, the cobra, and the dove. A hairpin. Nings. 
When did Qabiha get it? I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar, and perhaps in the harem. But on who? Yet for its grandeur, the room is all but empty. <gasps> what is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go. Now, give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with uh, me. I did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body, just a study of native herbs, their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna, deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them? Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. I can do nothing for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the Order, I could still spare those who have yet to suffer at her hands. 